Now, in this video of link, we will discuss about the grouping operators. Whenever I have a result set and out of which I want to make a group on the basis of a particular field, that is for example, if I have some employees record and out of which I want to make the group of employees on the basis of the department, then in that case, I can go for the grouping operators. So here, I will cover the group by and to lookup operator for the implementation. So let's see how to do grouping in the link queries. So in this example, again I am going to use the same collection employees which I was using in my previous examples. So as in group join, we have already taken a flavor of grouping but here I will only use a single collection for making the groups. So first of all what I'll do here is from employee EMP in employees like we did earlier also. Then before select I will write the group statement group EMP by EMP.department ID means whenever you made a group you'll have to tell the field on the basis of which you want to make the groups. So here we have created a grouping and we have put the range variable here called GRPS that is groups using the into keyword alright. So this group GRPS will be responsible for getting the, all the group related information. So here GRPS dot key as soon as I will write dot key that will mean the field on the base of which the grouping is done. So that is department ID. So all the department IDs will be here and right after in the second column salary I have done the total of all the salaries on that particular group. That means the salary of all the employees of department 10 will be summed up similarly for the 20, 30 and 40. So this is how you can do the sum or maybe any other function but this is how you can do the group. So let's execute this one and here you can see that key that is the header for that particular column and after that all the departments that is 10, 20, 30, 40 are being here along with the sum salary of that particular department. If you want to do the grouping then you can just if you want to pass the alias then you can do it in the very same way as we used to do earlier. So if I'll execute now it will not get the header key but now it will be dpt id. So this is about the group operator right here for making the groups. Now let's have a look on the another operator that is to look up. So here I have already created the collection as in we have discussed earlier but right after that I will use the interface I look up where I will pass two types one is the character and another one is the string. So what I'll do here as you can see in the details I have few records with a specific name. Now here in this example I want to do the grouping on the base of name initials. For example all the employees of name starting from A like Anil, Ajay, Anand so all these will be grouped in a same group. Similarly all the names start from M like Mohit, Monica will be having an another group. So in the same way I want to do. So what I'll do employees dot to lookup and right after this as you can see in I lookup I have passed two types in a generic. First is the character and second is the string. So we'll have to make sure the first thing which we are passing here should be a character. So for that I have used convert dot to care function and right here x means that is my parameter of employee type you can pass anything out here so I'll take name and the first alphabet of my name using the substring so starting from the zero that is means from the first character I'll take one character and that will come as a string but later I will convert that into a character so from this first parameter in this way we will get the first alphabet of the name which I will use for making the groups and in the second one I will pass the name of that particular employee along with the salary alright so you can just pass any separator out here like colon so A and then the respective name of that employee and the salaries so here you can see 
using the I grouping, again, I'll have to follow the same sequence like char and string. So first of all, I will I'll print the value of the item, means on the basis of which the grouping is done. So grouping is done because of a character value, which is nothing but the initial of the name. So this for each loop will print that key. All right, means the initial alphabet will behave as a key for this grouping. And then for that particular item, maybe because this is a group, this item is nothing but a group. So out of that particular item, I will get each and every record. Like for example, all the records of name starts with A. So that will come here and we will print that. As you can see, here we are not passing anything because here we have done the formation. What I wanted, name separated with a colon and then the salary. So let's execute to see the output. And here you can see A, then all the four records, Anil, Ajay, Amod, Anand with the respective salary separated by a colon. Then same case is with the M, then again name separated with the colon, then salary, same case with R and S. So this is what we have seen here, the couple of operators under the grouping, one is the group, another one is to look up.